nature is so beautiful like i can't believe this is free like look at this the sun is out beaming it looks like a fucking painting so here we go i'm gonna start yeah i got my tripod i'm gonna show you how let me see how far i can go look at this y'all <laughs> like this is crazy like look at that this is a tripod y'all get over here no no go he be trying to go he be trying to uh, not attack things but he's just so excited he want to see he, everything you see he won't just want to play with it he want to meet you know now you can't play with every single thing you meet not everyone you're going to meet in your life is going to be like you not everyone's going to be welcoming not everyone's going to be celebrate you not everyone's going to like you no matter how nice you are they might judge you how, how you look because he's a pit bull so people might judge him by how he looks and they might think he's vicious and aggressive but he's not he's just sweetheart but since the world just perceives this this specific breed as what it is as aggressive that's what people most people gonna think he as that's what most people gonna think of him unless they actually get to know him and that can make it go for so many situations but i'm just talking about my dog right now So you think it's going wrong, but I'm gonna still make it work. So I just wanna come on here and talk about, I just wanna come on here and talk about why I stopped smoking and how it has changed my life and why I think that you should stop smoking as well. Because, so let me, do, let me, let me give you the backstory of how I actually started smoking. So, you know, in every black household, every black household, at least where I'm from, cause I'm from like Chicago, whatever, uh, Everyone around me smoked weed, you know what I mean? So it was like, I feel like it was kind of normal for me eventually. So from when I was younger, I was like, maybe when I grow up, I want to start smoking weed, like, cause I, I was around that all the time, you know? And and I'm, let me say this, let me, let me start the video by saying this. There's nothing wrong with smoking weed, okay? But too much of anything is bad for you, okay? So if, if it gets to a point where you need weed to like function, or to eat, it's a problem. You need to you need to actually get some help, and you need to like manage your usage of weed because now I'm not speaking for the people who need it for like um, medical things, medical issues because that's all right. But if you are just smoking just for fun, you need to um, watch how you're using it and make sure you're not abusing it. Um, that goes for me because I was abusing it, and I was like, Kari, hold on, I actually need to stop and, and focus on like actually seeing what I'm doing with this and how's it affecting my life. Is it is it um adding anything to my life am i being more creative it, okay so basically what when i started smoking i was um i first smoked when i was like 16. be over here i smoked for the first time with my friends we had got some weed from one of her friends or well, i think her uncle or whatever and she, she gave us some weed we rolled it up and i think at the time my first time smoking weed i actually used paper like regular paper <laughs> um <laughs> that's funny but yeah, you're not supposed to do that because it's ink inside that. So if you if you are gonna use papers, make sure you use the ones with like no ink in it. So yeah, and um, and if you are gonna use papers, use some, get some raw papers. How about that? That's what I use now. But um, we were just we were smoking or whatever, and um, yeah, that's when I first smoked. I smoked with one of my friends. So after that, on my 18th birthday, I actually started really smoking because I was, first of all, I was 18. I was like, okay, when you're 18, you feel you can do anything in the world. Like, you, you just don't know how right life really is at 18. Shit, even 17, 16, you don't really know how life is until you get to like 20, 21. And even then, you still have it figured out, but you still figuring it out as you go. You figuring it out as you live. So, um, I smoked at 18 at my birthday party. So at my at my 18th birthday party, I told my friends to call it all their weed mans. It was like a lot of weed mans. And we all had got some weeds together and I started smoking. From that day, from 18 to maybe 20, I wanna say 20 or really 19, I was smoking heavenly because I was surrounded by people who were smoking all the time. Like friends, relationships. I was just around people who smoked. So it was just like 
maybe I should smoke too at this point. I just took on that habit because of what my family said for me, what I've seen all my life, and then what like, my friends have sent me for me. For me. And also I've seen it in like TV shows, you know, you know what I mean? I've seen, it, I've seen it everywhere. It was just normalized. So I started smoking, not knowing that it could like be really, really addictive if you just smoke all the time without no reason. So yeah, that's why I think you should quit smoking because it really does affect you, um, your, your mental. It causes brain fog. Yeah, I could not, I could, but I could barely remember stuff. Like I couldn't remember like what I had to eat yesterday, or like I couldn't remember whether I did something yesterday or the day before, or did I do it like last night. Like it was just like that. Like it was so crazy. I was just so mentally confused and had so much brain fog. I had to cut it out immediately. And um, what else I had issue with? My appetite. I, I y'all, I couldn't eat food the same. Like I wasn't craving the same things. I, my appetite. I was really just. I couldn't eat without the weed, basically. <laughs> and I knew that was a problem, but I th I just kept smoking because I was around people who did, who, who did the same thing I was doing. So it was like, it felt normal. When you're around somebody who's doing the same bad habits as you, y'all you, both don't talk about it, y'all both don't say anything. It just goes on until a person decides to make the change. And I decided to make the change for myself. Nobody told me to do it. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stop smoking. Oh, that's, that's another thing I didn't tell y'all. Well, it should be the title of the video. The title of the video is going to be why I stopped smoking and why I think you should too. So, I think that you should stop smoking because another thing I noticed it was, was that I was only building our friendships based on weed. We don't, we don't have a friendship based on our love for weed. Like, we we'll always get together, we we'll always smoke. We we'll never do anything else but smoke. If we do, if we do, if we didn't do anything else, we we'll would smoke before and then go do it and then we we'll smoke after and then after that, go home like we would never actually do anything outside of smoking and i wanted something different for myself i didn't i, I didn't want just people around who just smoked and just like that's it like i want to go fucking fishing i want to go on a, on a boat i want to go on the beach and just snorkel i don't want to just always smoke and then do the same shit every time like or we can or we can smoke and do something new but yeah guys that is my but yeah guys i just wanted to say that's my little talk that I wanted to talk to y'all about on um, why I stopped smoking and why I think y'all should stop smoking or at least take a break because I'm not I, I, I haven't completely stopped smoking. I just took a um, tolerance break for a month and once I hit my month mark, I'm gonna decide if I want to keep going or not. And I'm about to get into herbalism, which is like smoking different like lavender, like smoking different flowers like lavender, blue lotus. I think you can smoke. I'm not really sure because I'm not I haven't deep dive into it, but. I want to learn about things and want to really, really get into what herbs you can smoke and like what, like what's the benefits instead of just like regular THC weed because I don't, I want something different. Thanks for listening to my talk. I hope you learned something today. I hope you made a decision for yourself today. And um, yeah, I just hope this helped you. It helped me talking about it. Um, so I'm gonna see y'all in the next YouTube video. Yeah, and I like doing the sit down stuff in the nature. My first time, well, my end of my first time doing it, but. My second time doing it and I like it. So I'm going to keep doing it. But see y'all next YouTube video.